Hey kiddos, hopefully you guys enjoyed the worship that we just had, um, especially since my friends Hey, Kay, and Ray uh, got to sing and dance with us. Um, I hope that you are enjoying your time at home, and I got some really cool stuff to share with you guys uh, this morning. So, I wanted to start off by telling you guys a story, okay? So the story takes place when I was, I think it was about a year ago that this all happened. But what happened was I was at Lake War Christian Camp for a week of camp, and I decided that during my, my swim time that I was going to sit on the top of the blob tower. So if you've ever been to Lake Aurora, there's this, there's this tower that sits about a story up, maybe, maybe a two stories up. And it's really high, and you jump off of it onto the blob, and you get like launched in the air. It's pretty cool. But my job was just to sit up there and make sure that kids jumped off onto the blob the right way. Well, this particular day, it was raining, and it was really cloudy, and it was really, really windy. I mean, it was so windy that I was standing up there and I was shaking like a leaf. And it was so windy that my hat actually blew off out, in, out into the water. Uh, somebody had caught it down at the, at the bottom of the thing and gave it back to me. But it was so windy that I blew my hat off. And it was rainy and it was, it was kind of gross outside to be honest. It was a little bit gross, a little gross. But while I was out there, a, a tube, there was like these little floaty tubes. You ever been in a floaty tube before? Yeah. Well, there was one of these floaty tubes that got blown out of the swim area towards where I was. So I asked the lifeguard if it was okay if I jumped out into the water to go and get it. And the lifeguard said, yeah, sure, Joey, that's fine. That's fine. You can go ahead and jump off into the water. He said, but do me a favor. Just do a cannonball just to make sure that you land safely. So I was like, all right, dude, that's fine. I can totally do that. So what I, I jumped off the blob tower in a cannonball and I dropped straight down into the water and I sank all the way down to the bottom. Now, it wasn't raining and it wasn't windy underwater, but it was really dark. So what I did was I pushed up off the ground and I made my way to the surface and there was a little bit of light, but it was still really dark, but it was raining and it was cloudy and it was all gross outside, really gross. Really, really gross. So I'm out here and, and there's a tube and I'm start, I start swimming after it. And man, I'm paddling, I'm paddling, I'm paddling, I'm swimming, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. And I mean, I'm out there for five minutes, swimming as fast as I can, trying to get to this, to this tube. I get within maybe fingertips of it. I'm about to touch it. I mean, I'm, I've been swimming for five minutes and I am almost get to it. And the wind blows with this huge gust and just blows the tube straight up into the air. And I mean, it launches it clear across the lake. So I'm five, six minutes out from the shoreline and water that my feet can't touch the ground anymore. I got really scared because it was still raining and it was still windy. And uh, I just didn't know what to do. I was really, really scared because the waves were big, the rain was coming in harder and it was dark and it was all windy. So I, I, I yelled out, someone help me. Someone, someone come and help me. And so out of nowhere comes a lifeguard and they're paddling out for me and they pull me back into shore. But I was really scared as I was sitting out there in the water. I, my feet couldn't touch the floor and I just uh, was just a leaf floating on the waves. I mean, I, I was scared. I was really, really scared. This morning, I want to share a Bible story with you all. Um, it comes from Matthew chapter 8. And we're going to start in verse 23. But I was... As I read it to you, I want you to think about this blue background behind me. It's kind of a darker blue, and it's, it's kind of like watery. Like if I were to come over here and touch it, it's like a big old wave. You see it? It's like a bunch of water. It's cool. But I want you to imagine that as I read this story to you. 
So the story takes place um, as Jesus is teaching a bunch of people. Uh, he just got down off the side of a mountain from telling a bunch of people about who he was. Uh, and he made his way into a boat. And so he gets out into this boat and he's so tired. He's so exhausted. And he begins to fall asleep. And then in verse 23 is where we'll pick up. So then he came and he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up upon the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. What noise do you make when you sleep? Is it like a... <sighs> what, what noise do you make when you sleep? Do you snore? I, I bet Cody snores. Cody, do you snore? No? All right. Well, I don't know if Jesus snored or not, but he was sleeping. He was taking a little nap in the boat. When Then the disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. You see, these waves were so big. They were so, so big that the disciples were scared. They were, they were nervous that they might die. The waves were overcoming their boat and the wind and the waves were, they were just so strong and it was raining and it was dark out. And all of these waves just kept hitting on their boat and, and the disciples were so scared. And so they proclaimed to Jesus, Lord, save us. Say it with me. Lord, save us. Yeah, repeat it after me one more time. Lord, save us. Good job. That's what the disciples said. They came up to him and said, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. Jesus replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. It was so calm. The waves died down. The wind stopped. And it was completely calm. Completely calm. The men were amazed and they asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Isn't that so crazy? Even the winds and the waves, right? The waves. They obey him. The past few weeks, we've been kind of talking about Jesus and why we can trust him. Remember the first week we talked about baptism and, and why we can do that because, because Jesus did it. Then last week we talked, about, we talked about scripture and how we can trust scripture even though and we might doubt sometimes. And this week I want to I tell you that we can obey Jesus because he's powerful. We can trust Jesus because he has the power to silence the wind and the waves. I mean, our God is so powerful and so mighty and so strong that we can trust him no matter what. Kiddos, I don't know what all is going on at home right now, but I can tell you this, that what the Bible tells us is that we can always trust God no matter what. So, even right now, if something is going wrong, here's what you can do, okay? Real simple. You can say, Lord, save us. Right? Because that's what the disciples said. They told it. They said to Jesus, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. Because remember, they were out in the water and the waves were going like crazy. Lord, save us. Maybe, maybe that's what you need to say this morning, kiddos. Is maybe you're a little bit scared. Maybe you don't really know what's going on right now. Maybe you just need to say, Lord, save us. Or maybe, maybe mom and dad are a little bit scared right now. Maybe you can tell that something's not really right. Maybe, maybe they just need to hear you tell them, don't worry. God is going to save us. So here's what I want you to do right now, okay? 
I want you to go run into the, in the room right next door. Whoever is in the house, I want you to go tell them, don't worry, Jesus loves us. Go ahead, do that. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Right now, go run and go tell somebody that, that Jesus loves them. You ready? Set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hopefully you're back from running and tell somebody that, that Jesus loves them. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell the person right next to you or the person you just told and you say, Lord, save us. Okay, you ready? You're gonna go ahead and go do that any minute and now. Go tell them, go tell them, go tell them. I'll give you 10 seconds, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hopefully you guys are back. Look, I don't know what's going on right now, but I want you to know that you can trust Jesus at school, you can trust him at home, you can trust him at church, you can trust Jesus everywhere because he's always powerful and he's always with you. I love you kiddos and I hope to see you guys soon.